This drill is a, is a side toss drill with the young man keeping his feet and tires. We're trying to control his stride. We don't want to allow him to have a big stride, so this is one way that we can put his feet and tires, and he can understand that he needs to keep his feet quiet, have a very short stride. In this drill, he's trying to drive the ball back up the middle of the cage and hit the back net. We don't want him pulling off and hitting big hop ground balls pull side like that last one. As the coach goes down with the ball, the young man needs to understand that that's his timing for his start. Very quiet stride, nice line drive swing. We have a T down there at the other end of the cage. I don't know if you can see it. Or Beam is constructed, coaches, of four by four planks cut up into three, three equal sizes with a two by six placed over the middle of them. The young man is on the balance beam now and he's going to execute the swing staying on balance on the beam. He's only about two inches, three inches off the ground, so he's not able to hurt himself, but he does have to really concentrate on putting the weight of, weight of his body on the balls of his feet. Again, he's trying to drive the ball to the other end of the cage on a line, working the middle of the field. We try and work a lot with the middle of the field, especially with youth league. Most, most youth league kids can pull the ball uh, well. They understand how to try and pull the ball anyhow, but they have a hard time hitting the ball back up the middle or to the opposite, opposite field. Now we've moved him back up to the front of the balance beam. We're going to demonstrate how we can help work on controlling the length of a stride because one of the one of the biggest problems in the youth league hitters is too big a stride. So you move him to the front of the beam where if he takes too big of a stride, he'll step off the beam.